Hello and welcome to my channel. I am Simply Kiwi. Today I am happy to present Lynn B. Designs Cream Revamp. As you can see, this is going to be a massive review. This is going to be a video that's longer than normal for me. Also with these particular polishes, I do want to state first and foremost that when I was recording um, the viewfinder is showing the polishes a bit brighter than what the actual polishes are so please refer to the still shot photos that i do have along in this video if you like nail art or anything nail art related or if you like live swatches and reviews go ahead and click on your subscribe button also, don't forget to click your notification bell so you know when I upload new content to the channel. Each still shot photo is two to three coats to opacity with a glossy top coat. These gorgeous beauties go on sale April the 12th. They are all $9 each, but there is a half off code with the code FLOWERS, F-L-O-W-E-R-S. I will have all of the sales information down below. Uh, these go, go on sale, like I said, on April the 12th at lenbydesign.com. So without further ado, let's get started. First up in the collection is White Fang. This is one a white one coat cream that water marbles and it also stamps. I do want to state that all of these polishes water marble. Uh, except for the, I think the actual neon creams, but all of the others will water marble. I do apologize. I do show you that this, that when I applied it, it did not come on as a one coater for me. I did have to do at least two coats. It did go on a bit streaky at first, but it did level out a bit. These polishes are not difficult to remove. The next one is Quote the Raven. This is a black one coat cream. So as I applied this one um, on my nail, it did appear to be pretty much a one coater. I did go in a little bit light, but it does level out. As you can see, it did level out on this particular formula as one coat. For the sake of the video, I did do at least two coats. And again, it's going to depend on your nail line, what you're going to have to, how many coats you're going to have to apply. Next is Filling Blue, a dusty blue with green undertones that also water marbles. Like I stated, most of these water marble, I'll let you know once we get down further, uh, the ones that will not possibly water marble. But I, uh, again, uh, the viewfinder has it a little bit distorted color than the actual still shot photo so the still shot photo is the true depiction of the actual polish next we have sage it ain't so this is a grayed out light green that also water marbles i love this color for some reason i don't know what it is about this color i think it's because it's more on the pastel side and it's more light and um, just a dainty, cute polish. And as you see here, I'm putting on another coat. The formula is not very thick at all as I had expected it to be. Next up is Always Well Red. This is a deep red cream that also water marbles and it may stain. I did wear this and it did stain. Like I stated, in this, as you can see in the live swatch, it's a bit brighter than the actual still shot photo. The still shot photo is actually the depiction of the polish itself. As you can see when I'm applying it, and you can look on the, the brush itself, it's a bit darker than it is showing when I, once I apply it. So it's the camera. I don't know what happened this, this go around, but the still shot photo is the true depiction. Next is a beautiful day, which is a warm deep brown cream, and this one also water marbles. 
And as you can see on this still shot, as it applies, you can see more of that orange or undertone to this particular polish. But as I apply it, you will see that the actual polish gets even more deeper. And I was just trying to get, I, like I said, this is a more looser textured or looser consistency polish than I thought. Um, I think she does that so it levels out a bit better because sometimes creams, if you try to overwork it, it gets kind of clumpy and streaky. So I believe she does it in a looser consistency so that you are able to build it up and to the point that you don't necessarily overwork it and it gets clumpy. So look how different the color is in the viewfinder than it is in the picture. I do apologize for that. The next one is Achieve Grapeness. This is a blue toned purple cream that also wore marbles and it also may stain. These polishes in this collection are so rich in color. I love the fact that they're so rich. And I love the fact that even though it is looser in consistency, that you can build it up to the, the, the actual richness in the color or the deep and deepness in the color, if I'm saying it right. But as you can see, it is so beautiful love it and i did do at least three coats because you can still see my nail line and I'm, I'm trying to do at least thin application so it builds up to that rich color next is great expectations this is a mid-toned gray with purple undertones also water marbles and um amazingly it may also stain And I also went heavy handed on my applications. I didn't mean to. I'm doing so much pulling at my cuticle. I do apologize for that. That's why I state that you should do at least thin applications so there's no pulling because it is loose in consistency. As opposed to some other creams that I've worked with. Next is That's Taupe. This is a pinky lavender taupe cream. Like I said again, and I keep saying it over and over again, I feel so redundant, but uh, this also water marbles. I like this one because it's so soft and dainty. You can wear this in any occasion, uh, summer, winter, fall, spring. You can wear it at weddings. Again, I would heavy hand it here and flooded my cuticle. I wasn't expecting this polish to be so loose and I had to get used to the application process on this particular type of polish. Next is You Chlorophyll Me. This is a super deep forest green cream. Um, as you can see here, it looks more minty when you're trying to apply it, but as you continue with your applications, it gets even more and more deep in the color. It gets more rich. And then this is such a deep forest green. <laughs> I really had a good time with these particular polishes. The, I just enjoyed looking at all of the different range of colors. Next is You Had Me at Yellow. And this is a neon yellow cream. This one also wore marbles. I am enjoying the neon. I think I'm getting more into the neon as the years pass. Uh, at one point, I was like, oh, I don't wear those bright colors, but they are growing on me, you guys. They are. And this one is no exception. I love this color. It is simply gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Next is Spill the Teal. This is a teal neon cream. Now, in this series, she did not state whether or not they water marbled. I did not test it, but I would think they would since the other ones did. Um, again, this is, uh, as you can see, you can see my nail line here. And it dries down a bit satiny. It's not particularly flat or... Um, 
more of a matte but you can see that it did dry down a bit satiny so i did in the still shot photo do it with a glossy top coat and you can still see my nail line in the still shot photo so depending on your nails you may have to do at least three coats next is blue my mind this is a blue neon cream I, like i said i'm enjoying these neons they are simply stunning um now this one i did uh as you can see it, you can still see my nail line once i applied it like i've said earlier in the video you you may have to do at least three coats depending on your nail and it does dry down a little bit satiny and finish next is a blown to smither greens and this is a green neon cream And I do apologize throughout this video. I noticed I had a bunch of fuzzies on my fingers. And every time I swatched a um, polish, I just had some fuzzies. And I, I do apologize for that as well. But you know, as a polish swatcher, that those things happen. So I like this green one. It's, it's really, really pretty. I like this one too. In the... Uh, live swatch it gives you a more of a yellowy um, color as opposed to the neon green but pretty next is pinking of you the pink neon cream now this one really surprised me how well this one was gonna look against my skin tone I usually shy away from the bright neon pinks but this one, I'm feeling it. I'm all for it. I am feeling this one to the max. <laughs> so cute. So, so cute. Next is Ready or Not. This is a red orange neon cream. And see how bright it is once I do the live swatch and then all of a sudden the camera readjusts and it goes back to what the actual color is. It's, it was acting funky this day. I don't know what was wrong with this, this uh, camera uh, phone, but I don't know. I digress. And you can see it in the still shot the photo of the actual color. So pretty, so gorgeous, so vibrant, so bright. And next up is Excessively Violet. This is a blue tone purple neon cream. If you have watched my channel for a while, you know I am a blue and purple person. I love blues and purples. As you can see, I had those fuzzies again. I had to get those fuzzies off. Ah, struggle was real, y'all. Struggle was real. But this is one of the longest videos I've done to swatch. I mean, this was a massive collection at once to swatch. So uh, it took me a minute to get through them all. And uh, I have a treat towards the end, you guys. Something I've never done. So I'm going to start doing it uh, in this video. So the next up is the new colors. And this is Stay Toe Positive. And this is a terracotta cream. This one, I wasn't really, really feeling it. I am not a fan of the terracotta family. <laughs> yeah, I just, I don't know what it, I guess because it's so orangey, brownie, brownie, orangey. Uh, uh. I mean, it's a nice polish. I, I'm not the one to really go gear towards this particular color. But it performs just like the rest. Uh, that loose consistency formula. If you're looking for something thick, this is not it at all. Uh, the next new color is Plum Believable. And this is a warm toned, deep plummy purple cream. I did like this one. I'm not usually a brown fan, but because it was so deep and warm, it, it really 
complimented me. So I, I really like this one. Like I said, I'm not normally a brown person or a person that gears towards any browns. But this one was really, really nice. And I can't say it enough. Just be careful when applying. Make sure you're floating it across, not dragging it so it won't be streaky. And the next one is a little azure. And this is a deep denim blue cream. To me, it looked more of a um, on the greeny side than a blue. It looks, like I said, with the application, you can see it's a little bit minty looking. Um, but to me, it didn't look more of a denim. It looks, looked more like a greeny type of blue. If you like this video thus far, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to share it with your Polish family and friends. So because she stated that they stamp and they water marble, I wanted to try out a few polishes uh, to see if they actually stand up to what she states. If it's going to water marble, if it's going to stamp. So I chose the White Fang and the Quote the Raven. Also, I did filling blue to see if they actually water marble. And I sped this up a little bit so because the video is already pretty long. So you can see uh, the process. And I found that when you water marble, don't touch the water. Let the polish just drop. That way it spreads a bit better. And also you can shake it a little bit so it can spread uh much better than just allowing it just to sit there and dissipate but it did it, it it did water marble it was true to form so i think this is the last pass and i wasn't doing any specific um pattern i was just playing around just to see um if it'll actual water marble And it does, it does perform nicely. And I was just wiping off my little needle here. Because if you are a water marbler, you know that that polish gets built up. And you don't want too much on there. So like I said, I was just playing around. Just get my pop stick and dip it in there. And as I get the polish up, I blow it to, to dry it up a little bit. And it did perform and it did water marble. So I think I'm going to be water marbling. Now I wanted to try out this Maniology plate. First I'm going to clean it up a bit because it's been sitting around for a while. Um, they, I found that Maniology plates are very fine etchings. Uh, so I wanted to see if that would stand up to the test. Because some polishes cannot stamp on these finely etched plates. So I wanted to see if this particular polish will do that. So I've got a um, practice nail here. And I am getting that polish ready so we can stamp. And I'm using the uh, Quote the Raven, the black. And I'm using my Queen Scraper and my Maniology Stamper. And it does stamp. Now, it's not very deep and dark like I thought it would be. It's pretty faint. It's like a grayed out black. It's not very thick. So if you're looking for a stark black or a stark white, these two polishes are not in my opinion, not a deep dark black and a, not a stark white. Um, so if that's what you're looking, I don't think that's going to be in this particular collection. So I also wanted to use another plate that is um, more of a thicker etched, not very finely etched plate. And... I wanted to see if it was stamped with the white on this one.
I love this plate because, it, like I said, it's thickly etched. And I never have any problems with pickups on these particular plates. And voila, picked up very good. And I'm just going to pop it on this popsicle stick. And there you go. It fades into the background, but you get the gist of it. <laughs> so they do stamp. They do water marble. Um, I'm going to try one other polish. Uh, that doesn't specifically state that it stamps, which is the feeling blue. And I wanted to see if it will, so I'm just cleaning off my plate and getting that polish ready so I can see if it will stamp. And I like the versatilities of polishes because a lot of times we purchase polishes and they are not multifaceted. And I like a multifaceted polish that can do pretty much a lot of things with them so this one did pick up and i was so thrilled and happy so with that being said i'm pretty sure that the other ones will pick up too it's light but at least it picked up so you guys i'm gonna let you go ahead and watch the rest of the video these are just the, the still shot photos so you can get another look at these gorgeous beauties let me know if you're going to be picking up any of these Continue to stay engaged down in the description box or in the comment section. Again, I have all the sales information down below in the description box. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And remember, allow the magic to take hold and watch the magic appear.